So here we have our multimeter with volts. And we have the clock. We're going to time how long this thing takes to run off these caps. And I'm just holding the connection to the battery right now, which I'm going to uh, let go. So uh, we can run this test here. So three, okay, oops, all right, one, one, go. Okay, running out the caps. Stopped pulsing. What we have is these uh, those big caps in the back there. So I think that's microfarads. So however many seconds that was, five or eight or ten or whatever. I was told is that that's how you're gonna have that's how I had to run this test capacitors with a known capacitance because the the infrequent pulsing of the coil on the pendulum causes a fluctuation in voltage and which the voltage on this battery would be holding at about uh, 1195 or 1192 like when I run that that Bedini right there battery is is resting at about 1195 or 1197 when I was just running that machine a minute ago it was uh, the, the voltage was hanging at 1192 while the machine was running so that's what I would say would be our voltage we would go off of is 1195 or 1192 and uh, I mean just just as a reference and then uh, you guys saw the voltage drop on the multimeter there when I disconnected the battery and we were just running off of the caps. So if you know how to do that math, let me know. I really appreciate it. I'm interested in uh, calculating the a finite amount of electricity this thing's using in, in joules because I guess uh, we can't really calculate it in watts from what I understand but I might not be uh, understanding that correctly once you get the joules then you might be able to calculate the watts after that I don't know but if you're that guy who knows how to do that, let me know. Myself and a few others are interested in that information. Thank you. Peace.